Back again, are we? Bloody hell, this is, this is happening quicker than ever. Uh, this is John Brooks. Hello. He is doing a show as well. Um, now, before we get to you, though... Hmm. No, you know what? Let's do it later. All right. No, no. We should. We should because we're at PJs. We should probably uh, show you around. Like we were gonna be, have this great view off the. Um, I don't know if you can see off this camera. You probably can't. That's not gonna work, is it? Is that is that anything? <laughs> no, you can't. That's Kirsty in the chat. No. Okay. You're right. It, it was never gonna work. Right. So that that was. Uh, there's a Ferris wheel out there and everything. It turns out it's it's too hot to do a show out there. So we're here uh, upstairs where sometimes we used to have comedy. That's PJ O'Brien's uh, on. East Terrace. Um, we used to have comedy here years ago. They were really good to us. Uh, and then, uh, I don't know what happened, uh, but we all moved on. So th that, that's this This is the balcony we're gonna do it from. How good would that have looked? It's amazing. Son of a, it turns out buses, buses hate us. Um, now inside PJs, because we're going to do the show here all the time, feel free to come here and have a, you can, you can eat, you can also drink. You can drink these flamey things. Look at these. Nope, you can't. You can't watch them. <laughs> Look at that. If you, what? What now, Bolly? You're a bartender as well. What is that? What is that? That is a steaming birthday cake. They call it. Yeah. Did you? Right there. And uh, my nana had one of those. It was her 90th yesterday on Valentine's yeah. Day, and uh, her afro caught fire. <laughs> and now she's bolder than she ever was before. Baldy. Happy birthday, nana. Excellent. Uh, so there's that. Is, is that all the, all the photos we got? Oh, and that. Oh no, that isn't the bit. Wait, when Maz, when Maz used to come here and watch comedy a lot, and that's yeah. where you used to sit, right? You used to sit in that little cul-de-sac thing down the I, back I did yeah, I, yeah. Was, I couldn't stand by the end of the night so that's now, how did, the end of that oh sorry I should probably introduce Maz is the one pushing buttons and he'll be the voice that you'll hear from time to time that's his name uh, you'll only hear me if, if things go wrong, wrong. yeah <laughs> uh, so how did you because you, you live in Aldinga mm. and all your friends that you used to come down with used to live in Aldinga but every time I saw you you were all smashed so how I, did you get home safe I don't recall to be honest <laughs> so that's probably a good thing <laughs> okay <laughs> I think he was one of the hecklers up the back when he used to come watch. Hey, no, you're okay. Uh, some of your friends are a bit shit. Yeah, right. Anyway, <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, John Brooks is doing a show. Well, how are you, man? I'm very well, thank you. Nice, nice. Yes. And and uh, you, you're dressed like yeah, better yeah. than expected. Yeah, well, contrary to popular opinion, I occasionally do have a job. Mm. Now, because whenever I see you, because mm. we, he's also in the, the Diplophonics band, which we talk about. We'll talk about it later as well. Mm. But whenever you're always in this ripped T-shirt with a big hole here yeah and you've often said this is the only clothes i have and yet yeah. i see you now and you're i mean you're almost but I, d I don't actually have shoes to match i've only got like the rock and roll acdc yeah shoes nice so you, you don't have business shoes i did they fell to bits <laughs> or you didn't finish mugging the entire person <laughs> <laughs> clearly kept your own shoes so you could run <laughs> there's no running <laughs> <laughs> so uh so what are you doing this fringe have you it's it, do you start tomorrow or are you... No, I don't start until uh, the start of March, Tuesday, 1st oh, of right. March. Excellent. Uh, and where are you and what's, what's your... Well, I'm now? in the same venue as the lovely Mr. Michael Bowley, uh, downstairs beer garden at 8.45. Nice. And your show is called? My show is called Beer and Loathing. Right. See, see what we did there? It's pretty good. Uh, and uh, what's it about? Um, have you written it yet? Yes, I have. Oh. It's, it's basically about something that happened to me when I was in Melbourne. Uh, about the fact that you can't talk about politics in pubs and I'm basically going on the fact that you can and beer is actually something that we should use to discuss politics. Nice. Mm. Can you talk about beer in Parliament? They often do. Remember, like In your maiden speech, you can say anything you want. You can literally call someone a pedophile and there's nothing they can do about it. How come? It's, it's, it's the law. Like, the parliamentary privilege and, you, and your maiden speech in Parliament, you're allowed to talk about anything you want. You can talk about family feud for an hour and they can't stop you. <laughs> 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 awesome now because because beer is is a like a very political thing when they used to like say the cost of living has gone up hmm. it would always be bread and milk and then all of a sudden it became the price of beer as well yeah um that can be a complex state tax excise issue oh. but it's actually because bogans complain when they have to pay more right. so if you, if you actually linked the australian economy to the cost of winnie blues petrol and beer instead of you know raw resources like platinum Mm. I think a lot more people would take an interest in the share market, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, right. Well, you rarely see someone walking around in the suburbs with platinum under his <laughs> A packet of platinum tucked in. Yeah. Or a rat named Rio Tinto Resources or anything yeah. like that. And it's, never, it's usually not those things. Like McDonald's, there's a thing called the McDonald's Index, isn't there? Where it's the price of a Big Mac in all these different countries. Because mm. McDonald's have smarter people working on finance than than governments do pretty much and so they yeah that they can index the big mac against whatever and apparently that's a that's a more true way well, to, to work out currency well, it's a safer benchmark than the us dollar these days yeah. but uh, 
Yeah. Good times. And the Chinese are like, trying to manipulate the price so. of Big Macs. <laughs> yeah. Because they're trying to manipulate the world economy by doing stuff to the US dollar. So my brother tells me, I don't have any money. My okay. brother's into it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Did you know that, that when, when uh, KFC, KFC went into China, hmm. they had to give the government the 11 secret herbs and spices uh, as part of a patent thing. Like, they wouldn't let them in until they, unless they told them it was in the chicken. Wow. And, uh, and that, so the only people that have, like, the, the K, original KFC recipe is locked in a, in a safe in Kentucky, yeah. and the Chinese government have it. Why didn't like, WikiLeaks get it? Oh my god, that'd finally be a use for it. Absolutely, and Bogans would have taken an interest. Yeah. Them. Oh man, that would be awesome. All right. So, uh, uh, anything else you need to talk about at the moment? Uh, well, I need to plug the Diplophonics show that you've... you've That's the second time I've done that, and I haven't actually meant to. That sounds so cheap when I say it, but yeah, do that. Oh, well, <laughs> a whole bunch of very cool musicians. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. A bunch of people who pretend to be musicians get together with a bunch of people who are genuinely funny and mm. play tunes to piss people in the garden of Earthly Delights. And yeah. I think it's, a, it's a wonderful thing. And I haven't told you this, but I've, uh, I've locked down some people. Yeah. We, we have, uh, I haven't got it written down here, we've got uh, Gordon Southern, Mike Klimczak, uh, the, 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 oh, I've gone blank, Dave Thornton, yeah. singing Sweet Chant of Mine. Oh. Uh, Dave Callan's going to come on. Sammy, no, Sammy J's, he can't, his girlfriend's here. He's, his girlfriend or wife or whatever is here, and he's going to do it a bit later on. But so it's up to me to book the acts, and um, I've, you, I've started doing them. Excellent, good. Have you actually heard any of these people sing yet? Uh, I've seen Dave Killen dance. I've and, seen oh, and Hans dance. Brokenheimen as well is the other one. Ah. yeah. So he's going to be doing "I Touch Myself." <laughs> That's awesome. And so singing there. something. <laughs> yeah, potentially. I mean, it's up to him if he yeah. wants to. He can if he wants to. All right, so we're going to have a, a candy challenge with you. Yes. You get this straw here. Thank you. Uh, and these. Now, this could be interesting because I am at some Oh, Jesus. How much do you have left <laughs> All right, so here we go. But you're into that hocus pocus Scientology Buteco method stuff about positive thinking and reducing your risks of asthma. Yeah, the Bukaki method. <laughs> It's where everyone blows on you. Yeah. Yes. You just take as much as you can. While you read the news on a subway. Huh. Uh, that's too smart for me. Alright, uh, so we need a countdown clock. Beautiful. So Maz, you do that sound yourself you with your mouth. I, I, was, I, was watching the, I was watching it back. I like where the clock is placed, by the way. That's yeah. handy. It's like I've been censored. <laughs> <laughs> I get one minute time out where I can just rest and like let the sweat drip off. Alright, now I do have a puffer if you need one. Okay. Oh, cool. So, but but you'll have to wait to an ad break. I bring four of my own. Anyway. Oh, good. Wow, look at that. you could like get you got a jetpack. All right, <laughs> your time starts now. Okay, so beer and loathing. I don't even have the thing. Eight forty-five. Hang. Room beer garden. Oh yes, eight forty-five, March first to twelfth. No Sundays or Mondays in the Rhino Room Beer Garden. Uh, no, he didn't want anything else. Good stuff. He did you. You, maybe you can answer this, Bolly. No, because you should be doing stuff. As my face. I've clearly already lost, so... No, it's cool, because, you know, second place... <laughs> be the first loop. Okay. We, you can see half my face now, so we can talk. Oh, good. Oh, excellent. Yeah, that's good stuff. Uh, so, what, 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 did, what award did John Brooks win? He won an award. What was it? No, I didn't. Didn't you? you Some writing? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah the, 2009 writing award. The, the, Adelaide Comedy. Most best writer. Writing. And did you get um? Did you get a nomination for best newcomer last year? Yeah, there we go. Ten okay. seconds. So he's very good. You should totally go and see him. Uh, he's best doing diction. best diction. <laughs> Most apostrophal. Far <laughs> out. I keep forgetting that that's going to happen. And if I'm not looking at you, I really do shit myself. <laughs> All right, Bowley, your job is Barrel Girl. You have to uh, count them. I'm going to tell you out. Yes. John. It's pretty bad. It's not bad at all, come on. Oh, the other thing is, what, something we forgot to do. Uh, this is our, our fish. We were going to name it. Do, do you guys remember what the names were? Because we never remembered. That is amazing. 24, John. Straight into second place, I believe. That's pretty... No, no, no that's behind. second place. Come on. Some idiot got a view. So, uh, if you want to name the fish, until it... Because it's, it's actually going down. I think it's shrinking, so name it quick before it dies. Is it Fish Fingers is one of our... I think, it's, I think it's called Fish Fingers at the moment, but we'll see. You might have to make another one, Kirsty. Kirsty made it. Does it have to be like a, a, a sort of pun name, or can it just be something boring? Like uh, it could be, yeah. Bowley. We could make a pun. Oh. Oh. Micah. Take away from my show. <laughs> uh, do we have the, the leaderboard up there? Uh, what did he score? He, oh, have you not done? Oh, man, you're that far away? 
I haven't heard how many scores. It's oh, okay, twenty-four. Anyway, weren't we going to put this on a piece of paper and slide it to you so no one? Could that would have been that would have been awesome. We'll do that for the rest of the show. How about that? Uh, uh, so, so, what else? What else? What are you? What are you interested in seeing at the fringe? Oh, uh, I'm very keen on seeing Andrew O'Neill. Mm-hmm. Uh, pretty much every local show I can get along to, I'm going to because you get in free, right? Because I get in free, yeah. exactly. Um, Gordon Southern, uh, Dead Cat Bounce, are they back? Yeah, yeah, they'll be there in Gluttony, just down the road. Yep, very keen to see that. They also they have if you like late night music shows and you don't want to see ours, uh, or I think it's just before ours actually, um, then go to their mashups. I think it's called. It's it's like a lot of eighties and cover songs, but just on the top of each other. So they'll play like they'll they'll sing Paradise City over. Uh, cars or something like it's just amazing it's really really good and I believe in Edinburgh they're also singing over the top of you yeah at, uh, down the front they're quite drunk what Jason what cat you don't remember oh god is it, was this John singing Cam- along to yeah yeah, yeah. at the mashups yeah. that's what I'm talking about it's great yeah <laughs> we were like woo 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 yeah I think we helped the show there you go alright there is our score oh. oh have we lost some people what happened they're dead yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay no they're worries they gone very good. All right. Well, thank you very much, John. Thank you very much. Enjoy your fringe. Eat so, your M and M's and piss off. I'll take them away. We'll be back very soon with Motez and Amos Gill. We'll see you later.